In this quick tip, we're going to learn about gap spacing, a new feature for container elements in the Responsive Engine beta. Gap spacing uses pixels to space out elements in containers that utilize a row or column layout. This saves us time from having to use margin on individual elements by allowing us to set one universal property to solve all of our spacing needs for any particular container element. Here we have three groups representing card elements. In the past, we would use margin to push each card away from one another to create space. But now we can remove the margins from the individual elements and select the parent container to apply gap spacing between elements. Since this group is a row, we have two gap properties, one for the row gap and one for the column gap. Row gap controls vertical spacing, whereas column gap controls horizontal spacing. To create the same spacing as before, we'll add space in between columns like so to create horizontal space. And for those elements that wrap to the next row, we'll add pixels to our row gap controls to create vertical space. With this, every element we add to this container will abide by these gap properties in addition to any individual margin they have set. Row layouts have both row gap and column gap for examples like this one, but column containers solely have a row gap. Here we have three card elements stacked on top of one another since they're in a column, and when we apply gap spacing between elements, we can add to our row gap to give each card equal space. A couple things to note. One, you can use gap control conditionally for when you're looking to change things up on different screen sizes. And two, while gap controls apply to rows and column container elements, it does not apply to the repeating group. Gap spacing is a key time-saving property for building layouts faster and more efficiently. That's it for this quick tip. For more, be sure to check out Bubble Academy.